All right. Um, hello, everyone. Thanks for having me here. It's a special time. Hope you guys staying well at home. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad to be here to share one of my projects about a novel tool that we recently developed and still under development. And I'm also very excited to be the first online presenter in DCMB Tools and Tech seminar. And I appreciate all the help from Aaron and Marcy. Okay, today I'm going to talk about a tool named the Palmer. Yes, the Palmer Commons Palmer that is designed to identify Identify, identify and characterize the mobile admin insertions by using the long read sequencing technology. Um, let's get some background first. So what are the mobile admin insertions? Uh, they are around 45% uh, of human genome composed of mobile animal insertion derived sequences. And they have four types, which are DNA retrotransposon, LTR, line, and sign. And there are three main categories of uh, mobile animal insertions that were reported still active in the human genome. Uh, there are ALUs and L1HS, which is a human-specific subclass of L1, and SVA. And also, uh, they can be mobilized by L1 retrotransposition retro machinery in human genome. As we show the figure here, there are several significant hallmarks of the retrotransposon, such as TSD motifs, uh, poly A tail, and some additional hallmarks like three transductions and three prime end transductions and five prime end inversion sequences. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, uh, type in the the question option and uh, let me know, and uh, I, I can answer it in time. Okay, so uh, retrotransposition event or mobile admin insertions are very important. This event, those events can be mutagenic. The germline event within the exon and introns of genes can lead to new expression alleles that cause sporadic cases of human diseases. It will also lead to genetic, uh, genomic re re rearrangement and instabilities, such as no allelic homologs recombination induced by ALU. And some of those events were also reported as driver mutations in certain cancers and diseases and were found as somatic mosaism in neuronal cells. Here uh, I showed an example showing that a XDP, which is an X-linked neuron disease specific uh, SVA insertion, which can cause intro retention and reduce the expression of TAF1 genes. And by using uh, CRISPR-Cas9 to knock out this uh, SVA, the study rescued aberrant splicing and TAF1 expression in XDP, XDP disease, showing the significance of the mobile animal insertions in, uh, in human disease. Okay, so for for decades, there are many efforts putting on investigating 
uh, this event. Uh, till 2010, the International Human Genome Sequence Consortium used the repeat marker to scan the human genome uh, and genome widely firstly detect the mobile animal insertion sequences. And then afterwards, Dr. Ryan Mills used the back clone sequence based method uh, to investigate the whole genome sequence, uh, mobile animal insertion sequence. And then emerged uh, FOSME based pair end DNA sequencing. To 2010, they are uh, short read based capture assay that was developed that were developed and utilized to detect all kinds of mobile animal insertions. With the prevalence of short read genome, whole genome sequencing technology, more population level studies were carried out by large projects. One some genome project, uh, like here we showed, it's one of them, and uh, MELT becomes a very popular tool uh, of detecting mobile animal insertions uh, using short read data. And more recently, with the advent of uh, long read sequencing technology like PacBio, Nanopore, uh, the start is using long read assembly based pipelines or by using the multi platform analysis to investigate uh, the mobile animal insertions in human genome. So as the short read technology is so widely used, what is its limitation? Uh, as we know that uh, short reads, or for most of the time, pair end short reads have a pair of reads which uh, whose length is ranging from 60, uh, 50, kilo, uh, 50 base pair to 300 base pair. It has a great power to detect the genetic variants in unique region of regions which do not, con uh, do not contain repetitive sequence and are shown in the black bar, black bar here. However, it often cannot distinguish between regions of high identity when aligned to the genomes, as we show in the gray bars here. The problem is component when both reads map within a repeat, if those repeats are long enough, as we show here, you can see the those uh, a pair of reads are all mapped to in one single uh, repeat, which you cannot determine which repeat you actually the the reads actually map to. As we talked about before, for mobile admin derived the sequence, ALU is a bit shorter while still have a length of 300 base pair, and SVA and line one or LYHS can be longer than three kilo base pair to six kilo base pair, or even longer, and more than 45% of human genome have those sequences. So we do need a better solution for those repetitive regions or repetitive content. And that is long read sequencing technology. Here I'm mainly focusing on Pacific Bioscience or PacBio technology to give you guys an idea about how long read sequencing technology works. Uh, firstly, firstly, you will break DNA strand into fragment with a length ranging from one kilo base pair to 100 kilo base pair. Then it creates a SMRT bell template or smart bell template to allow the continuous circular sequencing. All the templates will then go into the ZMW wares, as, you sh as we showed here, where the sequencing take place. And a camera will record the emitted light when the nucleotides are incorporated by the polymerase, uh, and we often call it a we call it as a movie. 
In, eventually, as we get all the nucleotide signals, we will get all the raw pet bio sequence, uh, pet bio, uh, sequen sequence the reads with a sequence error about 15%. And it can be less than 1% 1, 1 when you get the circular consensus reads from all the raw sub reads. Okay, when we do the alignment with the long reads, longer reads can traverse most repeats and provide distinct alignment. By assembling those reads into larger contig, we can extend this event further and identify a rearrangement or genetic event within many, within those kind of repeats. As, therefore, as we have more and more long read sequencing data, uh, they give us a powerful way to investigate repeat rich genomic regions. However, it is still unclear that uh, how well the current approach address variation within these repetitive regions. Therefore, our aim was to explore those regions and investigate such variants, particularly mobile animal insertions that could be potentially overlooked by the standard short read whole genome sequencing applications. Okay, let's move on to the tool part. So, Based on all of the background I mentioned before, uh, we developed a, a tool named Palmer to leverage the long read data to resolve uh, the mobile animal insertions. Palmer basically used a pre-masking module to call the mobile animal insertions from PacBio raw subreads. This module will allow uh, the discovery of nested repeats in repeats, as we mentioned before, uh, which are often uh, overlooked or misannotated by standard short read pipelines. And then Palmer will go through all the sequences and resolve the characteristics of mobile anime insertions, including TSD motifs, poly tail transduction sequences, and by prime and inverted sequences. By using this kind of module, it will allow Palmer to differentiate uh, the new retrotransposition event and the duplications of existing genomic sequences containing the uh, repetitive, uh, repetitive repeats. And afterwards, Palmer cluster all the supporting reads finalize the course and report the full structure of mobile anime insertions. All right, any question for the Palmer pipeline? Um, so as we have the tool, we firstly uh, want to uh, do our experiment on genome uh, one genome to benchmark Palmer, and we, we choose 127A genome. And the one of the mobile animal insertion type, uh, L1HS. So we run Palmer on 127A genome. We, we figured out, the, uh, we resolved 203 L1HS insertions in 128A genome. And then we compare our results to the popular uh, mobile animal insertion short recaller melt and uh, we found that about 44% of more L1HS insertions were absent in the uh, in the melt course and we further want to validate our course before we do uh, before we do the validation we do want to get a, a, a more uh, low errors, uh, error sequencing, sequencing error reads. So we do uh, a, a consensus assembly method 
we use Canoom to aircraft all the raw subreads. And then we use CAP3 to assemble the aircraft reads. After this pipeline, we got a very high confident local assemblies for each individual uh, individual mobile admin insertion event. We also try to use PCR to validate our calls, but it is hard to validate some of them because they are citing in the reference repetitive regions and it's so hard to design the PCR primer. Therefore, we use several of third node validation for uh, to validate uh, our results. The first one, the first one we call it recurrent, uh, recurrent plot analysis. Basically, the idea is that it will compare the reference uh, sequence as show the x-axis here and the PacBio error corrected read sequence as show the y-axis here we just obtained. And it will display a continuous line when the sequences are similar or a gap in the middle if there is an insertion sequence as we can see here the example. And eventually we find support for all the events by using this method. Then, then we do the validation from false micron data by using the genome, uh, by using the genome in the bottom SNP information. We assign the supporting PacBio reads and the false micron pair and reads into two haplotypes. And if they are in the same haplotype, we do observe a linear correlation between the LYHS insertion, as shown here, uh, between the LYHS insertion length and the insert size of false mid clone pairs. As you can see, the this is the same haplotype for the PacBio reads, and this is the different haplotype for the PacBio reads and false mid clone reads. And lastly, additionally, we use the blast n and found uh, uh, found six insertions that can be supported by other previous studies in the blast n or nt database. Based on all of this, we are confident of our 203 LYHS insertion course and Palmer pipelines. So we move on to some biological question that. We further dig into the genomic distribution of this event. And the take home message of this slide is that we find 80 out of 203 Palmer identified LYHS course nested in the existing reference line one repeat. The percentage is 81 versus 15 if we consider Palmer only course versus the WGS Stories technology only course. All right, we also uh, observe the more Palmer only course uh, present in the regions less accessible to Stories, and we also observed uh, more Palmer only calls that appeared in the intergenic regions. So based on the previous results, it is just on one single genome, one to SMA. We want to we want further apply Palmer to a larger cohort, which is uh, uh, we have a rec very recent study uh, last year that. They use uh, long read sequencing technology and assembly based method to investigate structural variations, including uh, mobile insertions uh, in 15 genomes. Those genomes mostly are from different populations representing a global diversity. So we run Palmer on those 15 genomes. And finally, we got a spectrum of mobile insertions in this PacBio sequenced genomes that 
has more than 6,000 unique mobile anime insertions. And you can see the figure here, they are about uh, more than 50% of them were detected in multiple samples as shown here. On average, uh, we have more than 1,200 ALUs, 200 LHS, and about 80 SVAs per genome. And you can see the right panel here showing that the lens distribution for all the ALUs, uh, for all the ALUs, L1HS, and you can also see the L1HS, a uh, full lens L1HS nearby the six kilo base pair here, and also the SVA. All right, as we got the spectrum of mobile anime insertions across 15 genomes, uh, we do want to uh, do the comparison with the mobile anime insertion course from uh, I don't know at all uh, that we mentioned this, the study. Uh, the study that we mentioned, as also we mentioned that this study is uh, the concept from this study is assembly based, and eventually after the comparison, we find 25% of ALUs and 30% of LHS were not reported by its assembly based method. And more interestingly, in SVA sets, we do observe a big number of assembly based method only calls as shown the red, red here. As we draw the distribution, uh, the length distribution of all the SVA calls, we want to figure out why, because why they have so many uh, uh, assembly based specific calls. We do observe a different distribution for the calls only caught by the assembly based method. And our manual inspection into this show that those are only VNTR polymorphism nearby the reference SVA regions and were misannotated as SVA polymorphisms as we assemble uh, uh, by the assembly based method. We also dig into some uh, details between our LHS course and the assembly based approach. So, this is a comparison in 128.7a for LHS event, and we have some intersections uh, between our Palmer course and the Adorno course. And they only call it as insertion because they cannot. Uh, Sometimes they cannot annotate it as LHS. And I show an example uh, on the right panel here is that the intersected insertion course or LHS course that we can clearly see the uh, all the structure of the uh, LHS insertions that we demonstrate here, and you can see the empty site for. Uh, both strand of DNA, and also you can see the details of the structure of the l insertions. It has a, a five prime end inverted uh, L1 sequence and a, a part of the truncated L1 sequence, and also it has TSD motif here, and the blue bars are the flanking genomic uh, sequences. And also we have uh, extra 60 uh, 69 more LHS insertions in 127A that we caught, and also we uh, demonstrate, uh, I demonstrate an example here. We manually validate all the structure of all of this course, uh, and it turns out they are all real and missed by the assembly based method. As we mentioned before, we have the consensus sequence for all the each individuals. So we look into the subfamily or subclass of the ALU and SVAs. So for the subfamily were, was classified by the identity or the extent of sequence diversity or some certain nuclear 
substitutions to the reference mobile admin in reference mobile admin search and sequences. As we observed here, most of our calls uh, are recent subfamilies, which is ALU YA5 and ALU YB8. And for SVA, it is SVAF and SVAE. Although we, obt although we obtained uh, this big set of mobile admin insertion from PacBio genomes, we have way more shorty sequencing data that we can use. So we want to ask what we could learn from it if we could get back to short read. We do an easy intersection analysis between Palmer mobile admin insertion calls from 15 PacBio sequence genome and 1KG phase three, uh, phase three uh, 2,500 samples. It shows, it shows a quite decent linear correlation in sample frequency for the intersected calls in two samples, uh, from uh, one to five uh, sample frequency in y-axis and one to 2,500 in, uh, sorry, in one to 15 genomes in x-axis and one to uh, 2,500 in y-axis. And we ask a question, can we find out some information from long reads to represent this mobile admin insertion course? And eventually genotype the ones in short reads, but are overlooked by the short read pa pipelines. Therefore, uh, based on this question, we develop a uh, unique camera method to represent each individual. The idea of camera method is that three prime end portion of mobile admin insertion will provide a unique junction if we extract sequence from both mobile admin insertion sequence and the reference sequence. And then we construct it as a k-merge so that we can use this k to represent each mobile admin insertions and interrogate against other, sequence, other sequences. Uh, from based on this idea, we construct KMER. Uh, we firstly assess them in 127A sample, and we do observe a very good performance in this sample in terms of sample frequency in one, uh, a 1 kg phase 3 data. And afterwards, we build KMER genotyping model based on most recent uh, released 1 kg phase 3 high coverage short read data. Uh, for this part, to make a long story short, we obtain background camera as well as count the real representative, representative camera for each mobile arm insertions in phase three 2,500 samples, and we do the refinement and we build a genotyping model based on biolinic assumption and the binomial distribution. And eventually, uh, we got some uh, results from those uh, geno from this geno uh, camera genotyping model, and we dig into this here. Uh, the next slide here, I showed some recent results which are still in the working progress. We do a comparison for the genotypes by our camera method and the genotypes reported by Sudman one kg paper uh, based on Shari based on short read sequencing technology, it showed quite good linear correlation in allelic uh, frequency for three categories of mobile element insertions. Overall, in these three categories, you can see here, or in five super sub, sub populations, as you, you can see the upper panel here, which are Africa, American, East Asian, European, and uh, Southeast, South, South Asia. And also, based on the table shows here, it will show later, um, we can genotype 85% intersected cores by uh, using the camera method. And more importantly, we can add 7% uh, additional um, mobile admin insertion calls from uh, 15 independent samples. 
And for uh, and we are now working on the extension set, including HGS VC trails and uh, genomic bottom trails data with additional long read sequence genomes. And I also now am improving our genotyping model in Palmer and hope I can get it online uh, soon uh, with the help from Wen Jing in our lab. And we can expect the result will be better in the future. All right, that's basically all the slides I want to show to summarize today's presentation. Uh, firstly, we developed Palmer to identify and annotate non-reference uh, mobile arm insertions using biosequencing technology data. And then we resolved more than 1,500 mobile arm insertions per genome, which represent about 25% more to assembly-based methods. And we demonstrate that LYHS insertions are often overlooked by WGS short risk pipelines because of their integration into reference line one regions. We also show that uh, the SVA could be overestimated by the assembly-based method due to the misannotation. At last, we built a bridge from long-read data to short-read cohorts by establishing a camera-based method to genotype the mobile admin insertion course. By leveraging this, uh, we are able to genotype around 7% uh, addition, additional mobile admin insertions that were overlooked by short-read in the pipeline of the large-scale population studies. All right. Uh, at last, I will send to. Uh, I would like to send our lab mate and especially my PI, Dr. Ryan Mills, for his great support and of my project and all the collaborators and big consortiums we join and funding at least here. Palmer is now available at GitHub. Please feel free to visit it, download it, and use it. And we do appreciate the suggestion and issues from all the users. And uh, the last five minutes, if I may, I will quick, quickly go through the GitHub page of the of Palmer and show its menu very quick. Okay. We will probably waste 10 seconds and the web page will show up. All right. Um, all right. Yeah. So this is the uh, Palmer GitHub page uh, in Mills Lab GitHub site. And we do have uh, all the instructions and manuals for how to, uh, to help user how to use it. And uh, first of all, we require the resource uh, some uh, some softwares. We require the same tools, uh, at least the 1.3.1 version or uh, more recent version of the same tools. And we also require NCBI BLAST because Palmer will use BLAST to do the pairwise alignment. And we also require user to install the Git LFS, which is a software name like the La Large Fire System that can uh, can enable or uh, can make uh, user successfully download the large files in the in the uh, Palmer GitHub uh, site because we do have uh, some large files that put into the GitHub for the indexing and for the uh, referencing or the stuff. And to get start to get started, 
you can simply download a Palmer package from GitHub by using git clone and you can just use uh, after you download it and you can cd into the Palmer directory and simply type make m a k e and all done you can then use Palmer and uh, if there's no error coming out um, so basically, Palmer have a lot of parameters that uh, you can customize. Uh, for example, here it shows the input. Of course, the, the input files for your aligned long read sequencing uh, band files. And also, uh, you need to give Palmer a working directory. And also the reference version. Here you can have the HG19, you can have GSH37, GSH38. And we also extend the reference genome to other genome, like if you want to investigate the chimpanzee, the mobile animal insertions in chimpanzee genomes, you can use other option com combining with the, the other option, uh, other reference version option combining with the up other option in the following, like here, the reference FA, you need to give Palmer a uh, faster files for all the reference, uh, for the reference genome that you want to investigate. And the type here is the different types of mobile insertion. You can, you have, you have the options uh, for line, ALU, and SVA. And also one more option that we just uh, developed for the customized one, if you do want uh, want uh, want to investigate some uh, insertion besides mobile insertion, such as like HERV herve or such as uh, new mites, the mitochondrial sequence in the in the genome uh, uh, insertion sequence in the genome, and for the chromosome option, you can assign all the chromosomes, like different chromosomes, all chromosomes at one time, or different chrom chromosomes, you can paroid submit your jobs to it. And, and for the custom, customer sequence, you can, that, that is based on the uh, different version of if you want to customize your insertion finding, not uh, besides mobile insertions, you want to input this customized sequence. For example, you want to, if you want to dig into the uh, new mites, you want to give Palmer a mitochondrial sequence as a reference, the customer sequence. And the customer customized index is that uh, to show Palmer the uh, all the coordinates that in the reference genome of those uh, insertions or mobile insertion you want to investigate. This will help Palmer the pre-masking module in the Palmer that to mask all the reference mobile anime insertions or the other insertions in the genome and pull out all the polymorphic morphic ones. And also we have the TSD findings. If you, uh, for mobile insertions, you do want to find the TSD whole marks, but if you do want to close it, you can just uh, uh, close the TSD finding module. And the L lens and output, uh, those are the, all the parameters that can give to Palmer. And examples, very quick, Examples, if you want to run Palmer on your aligned BAM based on GSH37 reference genome to call L1 insertion in chromosome 3, here is a very clear example to show, <clears throat> as I mentioned, you want input, working directory, a reference version, a output, prefix, and type, which is L1 and chromosome and the reference uh, faster, and that's all. And if you, if you 
move to the third example. If you want to run Palmer on aligned uh, on your aligned band to call allo insertion in chromosome 2A of chimpanzee genome. Here is the example shows that you need the input for your band file and working directory and reference version is other and output your is your output prefix and the type is alu and the chromosome will be chromosome 2a and the reference faster will be the faster file for the chimpanzee reference and the, you will also input the Chrome, uh, customized index option that include all the reference ALU coordinates in your reference chimpanzee genome. And with all of this option, just run it. Uh, for chromosome so Y, if you uh, run, uh, if you want to investigate LYHS on chromosome one, it will cost Palmer about 12 hours to finish the job for one single CPU. So basically, if you parallel all the uh, 24 chromosomes in human genome, you can finish one human genome uh, for a YHS within 12 hours or half days. Uh, but for ALU, it will be a little bit longer, about like two days for uh, the largest chromosome, chromosome one, because uh, one is, because one, reason is that ALU will have a lot more number and also ALU is shorter and Palmer will need more time to do the pairwise alignment and so on and so forth. So it's about like two days to finish the, the largest chromosome for one uh, from one in one genome. All right. So basically Palmer's output will have two. One is the output course will give you all the non-reference or polymorphic mobile insertion course. And another one is all the TSD reads uh, output, which contains all the details that you want for high conf confident supporting reads and all the TSD sequence, uh, mobile animal insertion sequence details in the uh, supporting reads. So by using the raw subreads from 50X uh, coverage pack bio genome, we recommend a cut off for high confidence calls that uh, have at least one high confidence supporting reads and five supporting reads. So Palmer have already published in the uh, nuclear acid research this year or last the end of last year. Uh, do feel free to use it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Open an issue in the GitHub or just knock the door, uh, meal step, uh, I'll be always to answer your question. All right, that's all my presentations. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? I don't think I can see any question, but. I don't see any, so I guess we could wrap up and if anyone has questions, they could. All uh, right, um, take it so I guess there's no question for now. If you guys have any question, you can just email me or like send, uh, yeah, just you can email me and ask question offline anytime. Um yeah. I'm very I'm very glad that I'm having the online present uh presentation here in the person tech. And I guess that's it.